guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a swatch video of all the six shades from the Star Wars CoverGirl collection. Star Wars teamed up with CoverGirl recently and they came out with nail polish, mascara, and also six shades of lipstick. So I will be swatching all of those for you in this video. This lipstick that I'm wearing right now is number 70 and this is the nude shade. I will be doing close-ups of these colors and I will also be talking about which are my favorites towards the end of the video. Star Wars is awesome so I definitely think you guys should get this while you can it's limited edition so keep watching and I will show you all these colors swatched in this video so this first lipstick shade I'm gonna be trying on is the silver shade and this is number 10 so I'm just going to go ahead and apply that I have nothing on my lips so you're gonna to get to see the true color of this silver lipstick Overall, I would consider this to be a more layering shade. I do think it washes me out a lot, and I typically wouldn't wear a color like this on a normal day, but I do think it's very futuristic, and it's very unique. I don't think I've ever seen a silver lipstick before. So if you were to pick this color up, I would definitely say you could take this color, layer it on top of a warmer shade to make it more cool, since it is a silver lipstick. I'm going to do a few close-ups of this color along with the other colors. next shade I'm going to be trying is number 20 and this is a more lilac purple. It is a very light purple and this is the second to lightest color in the collection. So I'm going to go ahead and try that on now. Okay, so overall I do like this one better than the silver. It has a lot more color in it, it's a lot brighter, and I would wear this over possibly a hot pink lip. It's a little too light for my skin, but I think on a blonde or on somebody of fair complexion this would look very stunning. So this is definitely um, my pick over the silver lipstick. This next shade I will be trying is the gold shade and I think this is super unique so I am excited to try this one out. So overall, um, what I think about this color is I really, really like it. I like it a lot better than the lilac and the silver. This goes great with people that have more olive or warm undertones in their skin like myself or if you are a brunette. I definitely think this would look super good on you. Um, this is probably my favorite one out of the three that I've tried on. And this is the gold shade number 40. So this next shade is the nudist shade in the collection and this is number 70. This is definitely something I could see someone wearing every day. I'm not sure what it looks like yet, but I will try it now and we'll see how it looks. So 
So overall, I definitely really like this one the best. This is close to a color I would wear every day. It's a little on the more frostier side, but I do think it's really pretty and very flattering. This would also look really good layered over a red lip or a more orange tone lip, so I definitely recommend this shade right here, and I believe this is the nude number 70. So this next shade is number 30 and this is the red shade. This is kind of a reddish raspberry. It's not super intense, but it looks like it has a frost to it. So let's see how it looks. Ooh, I really like this one a lot. I definitely really love this color. I think it's, I know I've said this about, about three of them or so, but this one's probably my favorite. I haven't tried the last one yet, but this is a color I definitely would wear. It's very wearable, it's very fall, and I definitely think you should pick this color up. This is number 30, and it doesn't have the name on it, unfortunately, but I will list all the colors in the description box in order so you know exactly what to buy. This next shade is the darkest shade in the collection and it is number 50. This looks a lot like a blackened deep purple, so let's see how it looks. So right off the bat, I definitely think you need a lip liner for this. This is a, a very dark blackberry color, which I really love. I definitely think this is one of my favorites too. I would definitely wear this for fall. It just reminds me so much of winter and fall and all the cold seasons that are coming up. So I would definitely grab this color as well. So lastly, if I would have to name my top shades that I would definitely purchase from this collection, I would say definitely number 40, this is the gold shade, definitely number 70, number 50, and number 30. So the red, the purple, the gold, and then the nude. I think these are definitely must-haves. The silver and lilac, I don't feel suited me very well, but if you are on the more fair side, they might look great on you. So I definitely would say these four are my absolute favorite. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the swatch collection and all the colors from the Star Wars collection. I really like all of them, and I definitely think they are worth picking up. They are limited edition, so I would definitely run out and get them. I'm not sure if the drugstore has them yet. I ordered mine from drugstore.com. I will link it down below if you would like to purchase any of these shades. Thank you so much for watching, and please stay tuned for more tutorials that are coming soon.